Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Ooch and we're back again once again for another Borto reaction to the manga. Okay, just had to obviously make that clear. Of course, you already can tell by the title of the video, but yes, so um with the with how with the reception of the last chapter, um and uh, seeing that these are only monthly, um I think it's safe to say that this is pretty much going to be a regular thing, especially with Dragon Ball Super as well. And make sure you guys are checking out the Full Power Podcast as that's going to be like the full, like, in-depth discussion of what's going on. Obviously, we're going to have the reactions come out first because they're going to, they're a lot easier to put out. Let's be honest here. This is literally just a one take and that's that's pretty much it. We're just going to do get the raw reaction out uh, with a little bit of discussion, especially for the Boruto side of things, which is what, what we're here doing right now um i would like to have like you know a visual for you guys but for those that are not aware you're not really allowed to have visuals of manga um in reactions like this because this is these are um other forms of something that you do have to pay for even though you know I, everyone knows that there are free ways to do it but again that is illegal okay um i'm reading off of the shonen jump website this is the, it's like viz.shonenjump.com or something like that. I forget exactly the uh, site extension or the, the webpage URL rather. But yes, this is number 46, the true identity. Okay. Like I said, it's not Jigen. I'm sorry. This is, this is Kashin Koji. I don't know why I said Jigen, but this is Kashin freaking Koji. All right. This is the guy that I've been literally thinking that this is Jiraiya. Every, everyone has been pointing their fingers and their thoughts at the fact that this dude is either Jiraiya. Now, if you have not been aware, I've literally made an actual theory video that was well produced by my man MJX, which, of course, I was the one that wrote the episode out. I wrote that entire theory, and, you know, he put all the visuals and all, and made it, like, a very professional-looking theory video, like a lot of other, uh, you know, content creators like to do, because I felt like it was definitely important to give you guys that kind of quality. So as far as that theory is concerned, I do make connections with Kashin Koji. Now, if the true identity is about him, then we're going to be in for a really, really, really freaking good chapter. But again, the Boruto manga has been fire since the beginning. I've loved it. You know, obviously, yes, it did take some uh, getting used to the uh, the art style by Mikio Ikimoto, which is, you know, one of Kishimoto. I, I believe it was one of Kishimoto's, uh, what do you call those? The, uh, the uh, um, like, not helpers, but um, the assistants, right? I think, I'm pretty sure he was one of uh, Kishimoto's assistants on Naruto. I could be getting that wrong. I think, I'm actually might be confusing with the author, uh, the with the mangaka for Samurai 8. I'm not sure. But anyways, guys, let's not waste too much time. We're already whew, three minutes in. All right, let's just get freaking right into it. So color page, boom, we're in there. Stare off. Not really a stare off, but we, oh, yeah, we left right off. He's, he is up against Jigen right now. You were created to kill me. Yes, that's where we left off. Okay, so Kashin Koji, indeed, that is my supreme objective and my reason for existing. So again, really quick, just to like kind of put this out there, because it does, I'm going to reference my theory a lot. So I was saying that this Kashin Koji is either Jiraiya or this is um, a person, like he's saying, that was essentially created to defeat or destroy or kill Jigen, the leader of Kata and I have I have a feeling that if this is actually not Jiraiya verbatim, I think this is at least Jiraiya's vessel because they've used that term a lot and they're all about body swapping and whatnot. And who knows, maybe whoever was able to put Kash and Koji's like spirit or whatever into the body of Jiraiya so that way it would explain why he's able to toad summon Rasengan and you know and and then to even on top of all those things but to enter the leaf village without any kind of you know signal to you know the rest of Konoha and the sensory ninja and all that kind of stuff so all right so let's let's get again again I just have to put that out there because the possibilities are like they're pretty much lining up so that's my that's my new thought is that if it's not straight up Jiraiya under that mask, it's, it has to be... That's his body, 100%. All right, so the frog is staring, okay. 
Shikamaru says, what's going on? Naruto, he's planning to kill Jigen. They're both members of Kata, right? Why are they fighting each other? And then I believe this is this is one of the other... I forget his name already, but we're probably going to find out again. This is the guy that they have captive. Um, he says, Koji and I were both playing at being members. Our true motive was to take him down. Jigen was severely drained in that battle against you. This is a perfect opportunity we won't ever see again. It's now or never. Ooh, okay, so we're going back to Jigen. He says, reason for existing, huh? You're a pathetic man, no matter which way you put it. In the end, you're nothing more than a tool being used by Amado. Okay, so Amado's is the dude's name, okay. Ooh, Koji said, I'm fine with being a tool. And then he got the... <laughs> and then for that's what Shinobi are... Oh my goodness, rubbish, Jigen says. Next page, so here goes the action. Katun, flame bomb. So we got fire style. Is that something dry used? Pretty sure he did. But anyway, let's get back into it. Boom. Oh, okay, so Jigen whips out the hand. He's got like some some hand marks looking like the... um. Damn, what's that shit called? I Wow, I totally forget right now. But this, this like it looks like the same thing that Boruto's got the... I really having a brain fart right now. Okay, let's keep reading. So he like came, something came out of his hand, right? The karma, boom, there it is. I knew it would come to me eventually. So now they're like they're trading, they're trading blows right now. Oh snap! So Kash and Koji ended up behind Jigen. Towed oil bombs, threw the oil bomb on his back. Oh snap! Jigen's covered in oil. God, what an unpleasant jutsu. Oh, there goes the toad on the back. Oh, there's a lot of mini toes. Never seen that before. Oh, now he, wow, he's on fire. Okay, now Kawaki says, raising the thermal power with oil won't matter. It's still not going to stand up to the karma. Uh-oh. And here goes Naruto. The way that masked guy fights. <gasps> oh, see? Yo, I'm not the only one that realizes this. Naruto, this is the first hint. This is them. There's been a tease this entire time. I'm telling you right now, this has to be Jiraiya's body, bro. There's no way at least this is it's, it's at least Jiraiya's body. I'll, come on, Kishi. Don't do this to me, man. Don't do this to me, man. Okay, so Jigen back off. Boom. You got the stance right there. Okay, so... And then Kashin Koji goes, I guess it was futile. Okay, so Jigen, okay, he jumps out. Boom. Now they're, now they're close up. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. Looking like some taijutsu. Yup, they're trading blows. Boom. Caught his fist. Oh, nah, 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 nah. they're going back and forth right now. Oh, yo, my man Kashin Koji got the shadow clone jutsu right now. Oh, shot to the back of the head. Jigen ducks. Avoids it. Oh, what happened? Did he hit him with something? I think he threw something at him. But then, okay, Kashin Koji disappears. Okay, because he got he got Shadow Clones out. Okay, boom, boom. Oh, whiffs the punch. <gasps> oh, no. He threw, like, three spikes in his fucking eyes. Oh. Oh, Shadow Clone, of course. <laughs> what am I getting? <laughs> All right, here we go. Jigen. Okay, it seems you really are serious about turning on... Oh, turning on me, Kashin Koji. I do hope you're prepared to die. Kashin Koji says, that's my line, Lord Jigen. Or rather... Otsutsuki Ishiki. Oh, he's a fucking Otsutsuki. Oh, shit, Ishiki? That's right, Amato says. That is Jigen's true identity, or rather, it would be more correct to say his real form. That makes, dude, this makes sense, bro. It, it makes so much sense. I'm like, yo, where, how did how did this group start? Why did it start? And why are they doing things that's related to that's the, 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 um, the, uh, wow, the what? <laughs> Otsutsuki here. I'm so excited. I'm forgetting the freaking terms as soon as I read them. So it would make sense that he is Otsutsuki. So, okay, boom. Back to Amato. Otsutsuki Ishiki. He came to our planet long ago along with Otsutsuki Kaguya. What? When the fuck did he? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, we're going to find out. Shikamaru goes, what? That's why I said what? Okay, as I mentioned earlier, their objective was to plant it to plant the divine tree and harvest its chakra fruit, but then a problem arose. Kaguya suddenly turned against Ishiki. Really? Okay, and then Amado keeps complaining uh, explaining. I don't know Kaguya's motives, whether it was personal enmity or wanting the fruit all to herself. There's no way to find out now, mm -hmm, but the important thing is that it happened. Caught off guard, Ishiki suffered, excuse me, through enough damage, suffered enough damage to be on the verge of death, 
but he managed to take over the body of a novice monk who happened to be nearby and survived. That unfortunate man was Jigen. Okay, so... Okay, 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 wait, 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 before we even go. So Borto goes, take over. Sasuke goes, question. Is that when Ishiki marked Jigen with karma? And everyone's like looking, looking for the answer. Everyone's looking. Sasuke, Otosuke used, Otosuke used the karma to take over others' bodies, right? <gasps> Amato, da, da, da. Before I answer that, I think I'd like to get your response, Lord Hokage. Will Konoha give me asylum or not? Dude, I'm telling you guys, if y'all are watching this and y'all slept on fucking Boruto, I hope you're ashamed of yourself. I hope you're ashamed. This, this shit is fire. I knew it's been fire. Are you kidding me? It's fucking... It's Naruto part two. Fuck out of here. It's Boruto's turn. Anyway, here we go. So then Naruto looks. Amato again. And may I remind you that I form I am formally requesting official asylum as outlined in the laws of the land of fire. I've done my research. Special provisions give the Hokage authority to make that decision without waiting for consensus from the daimyo. And I'll have that decision in writing. Damn, Shikamaru said, damn it. So Shik Shikamaru knows. Of course he knows. Of course. Naruto goes, fine. But the paperwork will have to wait since we're both short on time right now. Amato goes, that's acceptable. Confirming your verdict is enough. However, I shall not be removing the explosive from Shikadai until I have the paperwork in hand. For it's, only, for it's my only form of insurance. Naruto says, understood. Sorry, Shikamaru. Shikamaru goes, no worries. All right, now talk. He says, very well. This is the truth about karma. Dot, dot, dot. So literally... Borto, we see Borto and Kawaki. Borto looks at his hand. He sees his karma, the little diamond, right? Oh my God! So if that, okay, okay, well, let's, let's let's keep reading. Let's keep reading. So here we go. So Amato goes. Sasuke's interference actually isn't that far off the mark, except it's not quite that simple either. Damn, we're about halfway done, guys. This shit is fucking. This is probably one of the best chapters we've had so far. Let me explain using Boruto's case as an example. His karma was embedded by Otsutsuki Momoshiki. So then. What happened exactly happened to Boruto? Okay, paying attention during the battle, Momushiki converted himself into data, replicated himself, and implanted that into Boruto's body. Do you understand? In short, karma is a highly compressed Otsutsuki backup file. Holy shit. We got digital shit in our freaking Boruto, son. Oh, my God. What? A backup file? Dude, that makes perfect sense. Holy shit. The compressed file slowly extracts over time. That is going on even this very minute. And when all of the data is fully extracted... Boruto's body will be overwritten by Momoshiki's data, and Boruto himself will completely cease to exist. That's how the Otsutsuki accomplish rebirth. Bro, this is probably one of the most fire things I have fucking read in a very long time. Or not even a very long time. I've been reading a lot of good manga. But still, this shit is right up there. It's fire. Oh my god. Naruto says, are you kidding me? How can we save him? How do you block the process? Amato says, as far as I know, there isn't a way. Although, you could probably prevent Momoshiki's rebirth if you killed Boruto right now. I'm sure a lot of the trolls are, are with that, but still, that's fucked up. There goes Sumide. No way. Boruto, I'm gonna become Momoshiki? Sasuke goes, question. Amato goes, what is it? Sasuke goes, let's say Momoshiki does get reborn into in Naruto's, in Boruto's body. What happens to the karma? Good question. The extracted Otsutsuki data dis, dis, dissipates uh, through the whole body. So like a sugar cube you put into your tea that eventually dissolves completely, the karma will also disappear. Hmm, that's odd, says Sasuke. Otsutsuki Ishiki took over Jigen's body. But he still has the karma. Why didn't it disappear? Great observation, Sasuke. Boruto goes, <gasps> Naruto goes, you're right. What's going on? Kawaki, wondering. Sasuke, back to him. The fact that Jigen's body still displays the karma means Ishiki still hasn't revived yet. 
The same as Boruto with Momoshiki. Your explanation is flawed. Amado dot dot dot. He goes, ha, 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 ha. Oh, shit. Shikamaru, mm, don't test him. He goes, what's so funny, bastard? Are you messing with us? Hey, stand down, Shikamaru, says Naruto. Amado says, let go of me. I've been granted asylum, remember? Should the Hokage's aide be raising a hand against a civilian? Amado, back to Amado. I told you, it's a complicated story. I'm not messing with anyone. Sasuke has brought up quite an astute point, but there's a huge misunderstanding. Naruto goes, go on. Ishiki did take over Jigen's body. However, it was not by using a karma like I explained. What the fuck? Okay, so Sasuke goes, what do you mean? So, the reason is simple. He was so weakened that he really was about to die. To implant a karma is a pretty big undertaking. He didn't have enough energy for it. Thus, Ishiki came up with a desperate plan. He performed his secret jutsu, Sukuna Hikona, to shrink his body and infiltrated Jigen's body through the ear. What the fuck? He lives within Jigen's body, absorbing nutrients from it. Yeah, just like a parasite. He eventually came to control Jigen's brain, utter his own words using Jigen's voice, move his arms and legs, and took over Jigen's body for good. But Ishiki still physically exists within Jigen's body. What a bastard, says Kawaki. Ishiki embedded a karma into Jigen's body afterwards in order to be reborn in his true form. Wow. So now they're going back to the fight. So, okay. So, yeah. So now he he has, like, all the karma around him on his body and stuff right there. Kashin Koji is still facing off. Oh, he yo, he disappeared right in front of Kashin. Boom. Ooh, kick to the face. Got, oh, wait. Was that was that the real body? I think it was. Yes, he crashed him right through a pillar. Kashin Koji, boom. Okay. And then they're facing off. Doton, Dark Swamp. I ain't no words. I've got you now, Ishiki. Naruto goes, I don't get it. If, if Jigen has a karma, why doesn't Ishiki just hurry up and revive? A natural question. It's because the most important factor in embedding a karma is selecting the right target, namely the vessel. So, okay, so, so Borto, okay. Poor Jigen is the one who just happened to be nearby. Ishiki's chakra was too massive for him. Jigen's body is at in, So, wait, wait, wait. Let me read that again. Poor Jigen is the one who just happened to be nearby. So, Jigen, again, guys, the original Jigen was just like a bystander, okay? Ishiki's chakra was too massive for him. Jigen's body is inadequate to be Ishiki's vessel. Okay, that makes sense. So, Amado continues to say, It wouldn't be able to bear his chakra if Ishiki were to reincarnate in Jigen's body. It'd probably die within a few days. Thus, Ishiki decided to pass on being reborn through Jigen and, became, and began preparing a new vessel. Dot, dot, dot. Naruto goes, So this new vessel of Ishiki's is Kawaki, isn't it? Oh, uh, shit. Okay, now they're back to the fight. So now we got Jigen is trapped in uh, Koji's jutsu. He goes, a stupid trick. You think you could hold me with this? Pops right out. He's approaching Kashin Koji. Kashin goes, oh, no, not at all. Oh, what's that hand sign? Oh, that looks like some ceiling shit. Oh, a ritual circle. Koji carved the marks using the doton. Kuchose summoning. Hmm, seriously? Flames this late in the game? So he summoned flames. Okay, what? I can't absorb them. Don't tell me these flames. This is no katon. I summoned real fire from far away flaming mountains they're splendid natural fames not chakra derived so you can't absorb them using karma and he goes you amado says we must not let him be reborn in kawaki's body ishiki's power is immense if he were to return in full form we won't be able to stop him it'll be the end of this world so long as the karma so long as there is karma otsutsuki will revive they will they are they are beings who have managed to transcend death. 
but it's not like it's impossible. Sasuke, Naruto, Boruto, Kawaki, he says, I'll teach all of you how to kill an Otsutsuki. Yo, this? Oh my god, okay. So the chapter wasn't about Kashin Koji's true identity, which I'm sure we'll get to eventually, but it was about Jigen's true identity. So Jigen, his real name is actually Ishiki. He's an Otsutsuki, and Jigen was just a poor bystander that just happened to be around and who is not... Um, his the, the Jigen's actual body is not actually able to withstand uh, the immense chakra that Ishiki brought to the table. So therefore, that's why they've been trying to, you know, pretty much create a a vessel so that way he can be placed in a body that could handle it, that can truly be reborn. So with that all in mind, I got I got I want to remind you guys and take you guys back to how the beginning of Boruto even starts. You go to chapter one, okay? or even episode one of the anime, we literally get a tease and a look into the future of what I like to call Boruto Shippuden, right? And the, the whole lead village is destroyed, and something happened to Naruto, and it seems like Kawaki is kind of uh, really taking on his villainous role, as a lot would assume, but it doesn't really turn out that it might not be actually his doing. See, what I think is going to end up happening is that Jigen or Ishiki actually is the one that's in control of Kawaki's body at that point in time when he's fighting against Boruto in Boruto Shippuden. So now that we have all of this explanation as to how the Otsutsuki work and how Kara is even a thing and how karma works, then that is something that I'm actually really, really, really interested and looking forward to seeing more of and more of this story develop. And I want to know how Amato knows some kind of method in order to kill an Otsutsuki. And I wonder, and how is Kashin Koji going to um, come out of this situation unscathed or at least to survive? And I, and I do want to know exactly who this dude is. Now that we know who freaking the real Jigen is, I need to know who is behind that mask and i want to know the the whole backstory on why and and yo and we got our first huge huge hint huge hint the fact that naruto recognized it is really backing up my theory again if you guys have not seen my jiraiya theory please go and watch it like that video make sure you're spreading the word around and there more than likely will be a freaking part two i mean this is kind of part two to that theory is that we are now learning more about the truth of how otsutsuki are like like how they transcend death and how they're able to re reborn and give themselves rebirths and stuff like that through other vessels and whatnot. So, mm, like this, this, this is actually fire. Like the, like honestly, I can't believe there's people that really shit on this and really hate on 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 this story of Boruto. Like people just sleep. They like. I think people just love to hate. That's just that's just the thing in life, which is, which is kind of a, a, it's a shame. But this this shit right here, fire absolutely fire i can't wait to see what happens next guys but let me know what y'all thought of this chapter again you can officially read this on shonen jump uh viz's website okay you can literally like i said i subscribe to it it's virtually free it's two dollars a month even during the pandemic i can i can manage two two dollars a month to to be able to read the official releases of these english sub uh, English translated manga, okay? So I highly recommend you guys getting onto that. If you're not already reading it, obviously this was a reaction and a, pretty much a whole read along, of course. Um, and my thoughts about the chapter, I thought the chapter was fucking fire. It was so, it was so flames. We're literally getting so close to just seeing the actual true identity of Kashin Koji, who like I believe at least has Jiraiya's vessel, the body, okay? There's no way that this dude is not somehow connected to Jiraiya like, they're, they're, dude, there's no way. There's absolutely no way that he's not connected. But we'll find out, I'm sure, sooner than later at this point. But really good chapter. Really, really good informative chapter with, with some action, of course. Jigen versus Kashin Koji. A lot of, a lot of information 
was in this chapter. It's a very good freaking chapter. These, these past couple chapters of Boruto have been nothing but freaking fire. So, again, guys, let me know what you guys thought about this. Let me know in the comments below. Please, again, as most importantly, as always, like the video so that way more people are putting, get put on to this video. And what do you guys think of my theory? Again, let me know once you check out the actual theory of part one of that because I'm sure once we actually see the development maybe a little bit more, maybe a chapter or two more, we might have to actually update that and do a part two of the whole Jiraiya theory, especially now that we know that that Naruto definitely recognized it. I mean, I might have to actually make that its own video, to be honest, because, like, that alone, like, this panel, we're pa I, I, I'll, I'll go back and find the page exactly, but that shit is gonna be the fucking thumbnail. I'm gonna tell you that right now. So, with that all being said, guys, let me know what you thought about it. Like, share, subscribe to me on Twitter, all that good stuff. Supporting links, as always, are gonna be in the description if you guys are looking to support the channel even further beyond what it's at right now. Um... And yeah, stay, stay, stay careful, stay clean, stay fresh, stay inside. Make sure you guys take taking care of yourselves. May the power protect you. I'll see y'all next time. And let me click this off.